Hello my friends, Bruce here. Well, two things about this lawnmower. Uh, Self-propel. It's got a Kohler engine on it. But this is the two things on this lawnmower that makes me nervous. The customer that, that well, the guy that knows me, he's a friend, he bought it for 10 bucks, not 20 choke doesn't work. So right there my alarm flags are up. Although I could leave a sticker on like that something. But if the guy was smart enough to know that the choke doesn't work, why did he sell this lawnmower for 10 bucks? Right? I'm skeptical on everything that comes in. I think it's just from past experiences. And number two, put you back up here so you don't get dizzy. Look at the distance underneath this thing. It's on the second from the highest. Now, the, the previous person might have just might have just uh, had a long grass. That's the kind of thing that goes through my mind even before I start looking at a machine. If you look, the adjuster knob is bent to the left, where that one's just got a slight bend to the right. That one's got a huge bend to the left, right there. And it might even be set at a different height. I think it is. Anyway, I'll play with it, but I'm not holding the camera. So I'm going to just... There, that's, that's where the other one is. And he's got this thing sitting three and a half inches off the deck, and the blade's another half an inch inside there. So that's a Ooh, is that really? Yeah. So it's got a four inch cut on that. Four to four and a half inch cut. Wow. Oh, let's just check the oil. Now we're starting to get funky now. Okay, it's right on the ad. Another, another, see, another uh, flashpoint in my memory. That, a newer mower like this shouldn't burn oil. So look at the hair filter. It's a cooler air filter. And what bothers me is these are three times the price as the Bridge and Stratton slash Honda air filter. There we go. That one's nice enough. I just might blow that off and use it again. Okay. Now we're going to have a look at the fuel. Ooh. Oh. It's got an addition. Let's just dip in here. Oh, the fuel looks... Okay, so... That's okay. Sometimes I've seen guys just add new fuel to a... An engine that hasn't run for a few years. So that's that's a non-event, eh? Are you with me? I gotta get my protection. Always carry protection. I got a new light. Okay, if you can see in there, I don't know if you can. That choke is closed. So now, we've got a couple of things we can do here. We'll grab a 10 mil uh, wrench and see if we can get at the drain of the carburetor. Now it doesn't mean anything if the gas spurts out of here, excuse me. It just says that, that the gas line to the carburetor is not plugged. Okay. I should actually put that back in there. I can. I think it was yellower when it first came out. That doesn't mean much because it's probably plugged. I know I'm in the way. Sometimes you just can't avoid it. Now that's not a very big spill.
Good. Alrighty. So what's next? Put you back up on the on your ride. I'm gonna just try and start it the way it is now that I've drained some fuel to it. And I tried starting it once before, right? And it wouldn't start. It's got a sticky rope too. choked off or it's not feeding fuel. So right now with the choke closed, right now with the choke closed, it should start if it had a good carburetor. So I'm going to do this. And I'm going to cheat and use, it. oh no, I'm going to use my good stuff. The stuff with the oil in it. Watch out! Now we're going to try to start it again. And I'm going to run with my juice can to keep, see if I can keep it going. Clamp! Okay, in that short of time, the choke is trying to open. So I honestly don't know if it's a bad choke or if it's just a dirty carburetor that's causing this to uh, pretend in such a misshapen fashion. Now the other thing that we're worried about is oxygen. So I'm going to move you guys over here so you don't get the glare from the big door when I open it. Oh, I'll wait for the door. I know I've tilted it to the muffler side. Gotta have a look in there with my little brand new light. Getting a look at that. See? That's what happens. So, there we go. Now it's starting to. Okay, now let's lower the wheels. To mid, mid, mid height, number four, I'll go to. Okay, so that's going to turn. Let's put them all at number four. Four from the bottom? Yeah. Okay. We might get lucky on this one. We're going to have to clean that carburetor though, or something. Okay, now it's time to get off the ground and get on the on the pender. Yeah, okay. It seems to be doing its thing. Oh. I like to work on this side of the bench for some reason, eh?
just going to take a break and we'll come back to round two. Carburetor off, three bolts, 10 millimeter. I see a lot more of these Kohlers now because they're kind of replacing Briggs and Honda. Now this rewind is also tight, so we're going to take it off and wash it and solvent. It's just gooed up is all. Just lazy. We'll worry about that later. Take this off with the tank. Oh, gotta take the gas cap off to put the tank off. I hope you're getting a look at that. Yes, you are. Okay, every one of these is a bit different, but this one works on a temperature controlled off this bimetal strip. To turn the choke on and off, and also a vacuum to dampen the reaction on the uh, choke. So that this little diaphragm goes onto this vacuum hose and over into the carburetor to suck vacuum on that uh, on, on this guy. So, but this does. You know what? It might have been right. There's one way to find out. There's one way to find out, eh? But it's still not starting. It should have started even with, because I had the choke forced open. So I'm not going to worry about that just yet. I know I need a Torx screwdriver to get that out of there. I just, what size is that dog? That should work. I like Torx. We're going to clean the carburetor. I know it's gooed up. It's getting fueled because you saw fuel drip out when I drained the fuel line. Clean! The old tire. Here we go. Should use a little fuel, not much. I should when I open this. Yes. Okay. So this is about as normal a throttle cable and spring. And then we just have to get this uh, this guy off. I know there's a trick to this, I just can't remember. I'm going to splatter so I do not break anything. There we go. Carburetor off. I just had to get the Z-bend off, off of uh, there. We're going to do a couple of things now. We're going to move up to the bench. We're going to see what's clogged. 10 millimeter socket. Oh no. <laughs> okay, let's get funky. Are you with me? It's got some crud in it. And look at what's in here. Okay, my friends. This is it right here. Just give me a second or two. And I'm going to filter this through a nice clean rag. Pardon me, there's a young family behind us, and uh, 
You hear all of the hard work that a young family's got to go through. He's a welder. He's a good father. He's on the. He's home for a bit. The baby's crying, and the six-year-old wants attention. And his in-laws are visiting. All right. So, do you see this? That is, whoa, right there. That's dried chunks of ethanol, fuel, dirt, all combined together. Inside the carburetor, right? So I don't think it's a choke that's killing this machine. I think it's, a, it's the uh, carburetor. But I'm going to disconnect this just for fun. See if this diaphragm is still any good. <laughs> Can you see that right there? See I'm moving the choke? Okay, this. Can you see that? I'm just sucking on the end of that pipe. So that is a rough indicator of that's okay. Let's get that jet out of there. As usual, we're in a standard carburetor clean situation. I got about six of these in the in my box. Okay, that's almost plugged. I don't know if I can show you that or not. Can't see through it, eh? And this is the um, emulsion tube, and it is plugged as well. No, hmm? oh, it seems better. But I do think this is plugged. Let's get that same nice rag. I'm going to take my... and go backwards onto here, see if we get something out of it. Can you see down here? Yeah, you can, kind of. Plugged. Well, I've got quite a few tools given to me over the years. Let's try this one. There, cleared. I don't know what it was. Right there. This is a smaller gauge. That was a 22. This is a 24. There we go. Should squirt through there like crazy now. The can's getting empty. Good. Now, I'm just going to poke through these 14 holes. One. They're getting a little bit of stuff out of each one, eh? It's just about time for me to wash my hands, I know, because I don't have my gloves on. Ooh, it's getting a little piece of something out of each one. Right. Ooh. Good. Now I'm just going to hold the end and we should see a nice little star pattern. I'm going to switch the jugs. For volume. If you guys can see this or not. Didn't see anything coming out of these three. Yep. Yep. That's clean. Okay, now I'm taking the uh, idle circuit out. It's only Kohler adapted this 
It's almost identical to a Honda. Eh? Should be a tiny little bit of a leak through here on the end. I did wash my hand. Yep, that's a good one. So then we squirt down into here. And we should see stuff coming up. The Good. And we squirt through there. Good. Good. I think it's clean enough. Let's just do a little uh, pressure test on that one. So we're trying to hold back at least five pounds. Good. Okay, upside down. We're free. Oh, it's not sealing. Dirty dog. Oh, it could be that. Ah, could be the operator. There we go. Holding still at seven. Listen. Good. Holding still at 10. Ooh, I wish they all did that. Good. It's ready for reassembly. You don't have to watch that. I don't think I need to go any further. Talk to you in a bit. This is the fuel that was in the tank. It looks perfect, but it, but the the gas in the in the carburetor was yellow. So they put new gas in the tank, but they didn't uh, rebuild the carb. All right. If I heat this up, it's attached to the muffler. It should twist the end of this. If this is still good. So right now this is facing at about, on the clock, 7 o'clock. Let me come around to here. I can reach over. There, it moved. See that? I think this, I think this spark plug wire is supposed to be on the other side. Now let's just get some, uh, do the exact opposite. Tank is removed out of the service. And we're going to see if it moves the other way by spraying cold on it. There, it's turning, see? That's all it needed was a good flex. It's got lots of, spring. it's got more spring in it now than it had. This is cold, right? It's also not good for you. I'm going to wash my hands. So I think the muffler's, the choke's okay. Regardless of what it said on the handle when it came here. Okay, there's back together again. One action there, and the other action there. This one's the diaphragm, this one's the bimetal strip. Seems to be working. We'll see when we start it up, right? Just thought I'd show you that. The gas is turned on now, and we have no leaks, and the uh, 
Needle and seat tested almost to 10 pounds. That's great. All right. Got my uh, solvent here. This is a slow to retract rewind. And uh, I guess this dish is good enough. I should, I'd like to use something a little bit smaller. But I, it'll work. It's already helped. Do that one more time. It smells like paint. Although they don't, I don't think they make paint with solvent anymore. Right? It's all like a water-based acrylic, whatever that is. I know what I'll do. Extend the spring all the way. See if I can find a small opening on the side there somewhere. <laughs> I wonder how much dirt I got out of that with the spring open. Much better. Alright. Just thought I'd show you that. Hi my love. Hi. Okay. So I took the gas out of that machine. It was fair. Probably last year's fuel. And I replaced it with ethanol free premium it's hard to believe this eh? but an uh, ethanol free uh, what is it 91 premium or something it takes longer to burn but it has a higher BTU value so when you have a vehicle that has a hot prod engine in it you have to set the timing from let's say 15 up to 20 because you've got a hot rod There we go, and uh, so that's that's the story. Uh, I think these little engines are set for regular fuel, but anyway, let's see if this guy runs. I got about 30 seconds of battery to go here. Let's see if it starts. It should. Sounds great. All I got left is an oil chain. All right. So now the rewind pulls back. The, cho the carburetor's clean. The choke does work. Although it said on the handlebars that it didn't. The self-propel works. It's had an oil change. The plug's clean. Filter's new. Air filter. So let's see how she does. Thanks for watching.